the first project that the most exciting project at that time for me is the Silver Dragon restaurant because it's the first time that her family they actually take a big chance and a big trust in Oakland Chinatown that is going to grow. So we built a building is like nearly 25,000 square feet, much bigger than all the restaurants that exist at that time. And we find out banks say, no, 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 you can't make it. Nobody, you know, can't build this kind of building. And, but so end up, they had to put out a lot of money. 60% or more, they will put up the money. Instead of borrow 70%, usually commercial can do that. But we have to put, uh, basically borrow only 40% or less. And that was a very exciting project. And, and when, uh, the interesting thing about that is uh, when I designed that, you look at Silver Dragon, there's a round entrance, right? And then, then my second project when I was going to build is the, uh, a bank. And at the time, we tried to start a bank. You know, a few friends of us, we all tried to start a bank. So we talked to all the people in the sewing factory. We all say that, you know, we all make some money. Why don't we pull our money together? And we open a community bank. Everybody have a part of it. And, and, and so we do all the sewing factory, sewing lady. They don't make too much money, but they all save some money. They all put the money in and we gather, you know, the whole town gather together. We have a million dollars, you know. That was a big deal, you know. And they say, oh, come here back at the time that we can start paying one million dollars. So we went to apply, you know. And then we didn't know everybody around here went against us. The Bank of America, everybody, they don't want another bank close by because they want to listen, they don't want competition. So they gave us such a hard time that we actually have to give everybody money back. Now, the reason I say that is when I try to build a bank across the street, the first thing people say, oh no, no, you can't build over there because it's the business going to, the business could be bad. I say, why is it going to be bad? He said, well, the silver dragon is around, all like this. It's a dragon with a mouth ready to swallow you. So if you build over there, this building will just go to eat you up. <laughs> I said, oh, see this, one thing about architecture, I learned a lot working with Chinese community, is all this thing about the feng shui thing, you know. Like, like you can't put a stairway in the middle of the house because the whole family will always fight. You go to your garage and enter near the wall next, next door to your kitchen, then you fight with your neighbors, you know. So I learned a lot about the stairway facing the street, all the money going to flow out, so you always have to make a turn. So you got all these different things. It's very interesting because, so when I design, it's not just talk about design of a building. We have to talk about uh, all the <laughs> tradition and the, the feng shui and with the high expert to come and they have to go up the mountain and say, well, maybe you have to shift it 20 degrees. Okay, I better do it because if I don't do it, something happened to the family and they got sick, I'll be in big trouble. So all those things to me are tradition that people still believe.